I saw in a video that eating plenty of fat in carnivore diet puts fat in the muscles like Wagyu beef. Uh, and that is not a good thing. Any truth? So we're talking about intramuscular fat, which we which we want, intramyocellular lipids, uh, which are essential for athletes, actually. 100%. So it's we can, and this is a ballpark figure, because again, as I mentioned on YouTube, the studies on people who live in strict carnival lifestyles, they, they're never done. You know, so these papers that we see are done on carb people who gravitate into a keto lifestyle for three, four weeks. And that's not true keto adaptation. Uh, through the research I've carried out, it's my opinion that we have the ability to double the amount of fat stores, at least double in the muscle. And that's really important. So when I eat fat, I'm essentially fat feeding. I'm filling my muscles or the intracellular myelipids with fat instead of glycogen. Energy in the muscle, so the intracellular myelipids, allows us to supply energy to, to the muscle within, uh, you know, the cells within the muscle uh, at an incredible rate. So that's not a bad thing. If we are not keto and carnivore, so context is critically important, then we don't want excessive amounts of fat in there. But when we are keto carnivore, it's a positive thing. There's a thing called the athlete's paradox, where the high level of intramuscular fat is coupled with excellent insulin sensitivity. So everything you've been told is pretty bunk <laughs> right